All right, what is up guys? Jarrett Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna to be an epic video. We're gonna be doing a full on garage tour of all of our supercars and motorcycles. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, so before we get started, I know there's gonna be a couple questions that are gonna get asked over and over in the comment section below. The first of which is, what do we do for a living? So um, Christina and I are social media influencers. That's our full-time job. So, um, you know, we get paid through YouTube. We both have our own YouTube channels. Uh, we have, you know, Instagram, TikTok, Patreon, OnlyFans, sponsorships. I have my own personal training business. So we have eight to 10 sources of revenue. And that's literally what we do for a living, social media. So. Um, Let's get that one out of the way. The next question is gonna be, okay, fine, maybe you guys have some money, but why are you blowing it on all these cars and motorcycles? And that's also a great question. Um, because we are social media people, um, this is actually all part of our brand. So um, there are tax write-offs for us. They save us tens of thousands, sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars in taxes. And then they also make money for our brands. So, um, you know, we use them to make content. And actually a lot of these cars, if you purchase the right types of cars and motorcycles, um, some of them will actually go up in value. So there are also forms of investments as well. So um, I know it might look like we're just blowing money on stupid stuff, but it's, also, it's actually very calculated calculated purchases um, to help grow our brand and of course we love them as well so let's get started all right so the way that we're gonna do this here today is I just want to walk around show you guys all the cars that we've had we've had a bunch of cars coming and leaving the garage lately so I kind of just give you guys an update and just talk about why we purchased the things that we purchased and um, I think in order to do an order we'll just start from the cheapest and go to the most expensive so first one the cheapest vehicle that we have is actually this Ducati Monster 1200. So I purchased this bike for right around $20,000. Uh, this is actually a build series bike. So one of the big things I do on my channel is I customize motorcycles. They're um, community funded and then we actually give them away when they're done. If you guys are interested in being a part of those build series, you can go to patreon.com slash customs. It's always the first link in the description below. So this is actually our latest project. We just finished this build actually last week. So it's a 2020 Ducati Monster 1200 and um, we put about $20,000 worth of uh, upgrades onto this thing through our sponsor uh, Manny at Moto Million and we've basically came out with this thing so there's way too many custom parts to go over but i'll just give you guys like a highlight of the build so um we did a brushed aluminum uh tank my buddy dotto hand brushed that tank clear coated it did everything um we uh blacked out the front headlight we have a full titanium uh sc project exhaust system on it um a clear clutch duca bike clear clutch we have um bst carbon fiber wheels whoops i just stood right in the sun Look at those babies. Um, so yeah, we've shaved about 40, 50 pounds off this bike and it did 156 horsepower on the dyno, 23 horsepower over stock. So the thing is an absolute beast. It lives up to its name right now. Christina actually has ridden this bike as well. She rides motorcycles. She's not just uh, a pretty face, although she is gorgeous. Um, do you want to start it up for us, teens? Yeah, I'm very jealous. I'm gonna get this. Yeah, she did really enjoy Incredible this bike. Ride. We might have to add one to the stables in the future. So go ahead. Um, I think you got to press this. Switch. Yeah, you got. You have M and M on here, yeah, and I'm we, not used to all this. All of our cool Duca bike button setups there. So it's just that start button. Oh, up okay. There. Yeah. Ha 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 ha! Hell yeah! So yeah, that's a V-twin Ducati 1200 and uh, it's, bike. yeah, it sounds as good as it looks. All right, next on the list is um, our Lamborghini Diablo 1260. The, yeah, Chunky Boy. So this is a, uh, so yeah, 20,000 was the monster. Uh, this one was $32,000. And this is another one of those bikes where I talked about some of them have gone up in value. I've actually had offers on this bike for um, over $100,000, which is almost three times what I paid for it. So again, a solid investment. Um, but this is a limited edition Ducati that they did a collaboration with Lamborghini, which believe it or not, is the first ever collaboration between Ducati and Lamborghini. You would think that they would have worked together uh, in, the, in the past, but they haven't until this bike. So 
The, the special thing about this bike is Lamborghini came out with their Sion, which is their first ever hybrid uh, supercar. Well, actually, it's a hypercar technically. Um, and they modeled this bike after the Sion, so um, that's why it has this paint scheme on it. It's called Agia Green. It's a Lamborghini uh, paint scheme um, with uh, Electrum Rose Gold on the wheels. It's a lot beautiful in person and it comes off online. A lot beautiful. Sorry. A lot more beautiful. <laughs> a lot, a lot beautiful. She's foreign. Sexier. Yeah, she's a foreign. Lot <laughs> in than it does. I agree. When I saw photos of it, I actually, I thought it was cool, but I didn't think it was that cool until I saw a video of it, and then I fell in love, and I was very, very lucky. Was like, yeah, I was very gold, lucky to get one. Rose gold color. Mm -hmm. cool. Looks so good with the carbon accents. So shout out to Ducati New York City for uh, getting me this bike. Let's hear how she sounds. Oh, you're pulling a Jay Leno on me. Okay. so good so this is a limited edition bike uh one of 630 worldwide and that 63 coming from lamborghini's founding date which was 1963 mine is number 334 only about 60 came to the us so i'm really lucky to have one of those so let's move on to the next ex most expensive vehicle which is our Ducati Panigale V4 SP. I purchased this bike for right around $40,000. And this is actually our next giveaway motorcycle. So we're gonna be choosing a winner for the Ducati Monster in the next couple weeks. And then I've got about $15,000 worth of carbon fiber sitting in the garage in there from Manny at Moto Million. And we're gonna deck this thing out and make it one of the most insane Ducatis on the planet. So this is also a limited edition model right here. Well, they're limited and numbered, I guess you could, you could say so this is number 223 they didn't say how many they were going to make i would imagine probably not more than 1500 or so so it's a pretty rare bike this is their super bike flagship for the for the brand it's a v4 motor making 226 horsepower to the crank it's an absolute freaking beast uh what makes this a v4 sp is the paint scheme um the carbon fiber wheels lifted straight off their super legera their dry clutch from the panigale v4r the tank from the V4R, and then a bunch of other bits and bobs. We've already done some mods on this thing, like the Terminioni titanium exhaust that you're about to hear. Teens, you wanna do the honors oh, for us? Of course, yes. This thing sounds and looks How much more aggressive insane, <laughs> yeah. Hey, before you rev it, pull in the clutch so they can hear the dry clutch. Just pull it in. Hear that? Signature dry clutch. Let's hear a couple reps. God. <laughs> that thing really revs and vibrates. <laughs> All different types of parts. Yeah. Onlyfans.com slash Christina Khalil. <laughs> Watch her rev bikes in a thong. No. Just kidding, although you should do that if you that haven't already. So, um, like I said, I purchased this bike for right around $40,000. We're probably gonna add about twenty dollars to $30,000 worth of upgrades. So it's gonna be sitting around 70, 80 grand when we're done. The Monster, again, I purchased for 20. We added about 20,000 worth of parts and then we had about 10,000 worth of labor. So it was about 50,000 into that bike right there. So moving along, the next most expensive vehicle is actually, you would think it's the SUV, but it's not. It's actually Christina's 2020 C8 Corvette. Do you want to talk about this one? No, go ahead. Nope, go ahead. <laughs> so, yeah, so the cool thing about this car is it's the first ever mid-engine Corvette in history. So we were really lucky to get this from Santa Barbara Chevrolet. Chevrolet yeah. Shout out to those guys, Bunnin. Um, yeah, we got a very early exactly. allocation. Yeah, because this was during COVID. And as COVID shut down the whole country, basically. Yeah, yeah. So um, we got this car in 2020. It was right around $100,000. The cool thing about this car, though, is they start at right around 60000 But then with options, you can we pretty much fully spec the car out. And, um, you know, it has oh, it, so many options. It's ridiculous. Full this leather seats. Like, so yeah, so this is a wrap. Shout out to uh, SB Tint Designs, Hector in Santa Barbara. Wrap he does phenomenal jobs. So this is a custom wrap that we designed kind of based on the C8R race it does, car. It does come if you come over here. 
<laughs> yes, come with custom kitty paw prints. I don't know if they're going to come up. Yeah, they do. <laughs> yeah, that's Oro. You know, making his way that up. That little bitch. <laughs> but um, yeah, the first ever mid-engine uh, Corvette. It's a V8 naturally aspirated uh, small block making 495 horsepower, which doesn't seem like a lot when it comes to supercars, but this thing will do zero to 60 in 2.8 nine seconds rated from the factory and christina actually did a launch in this thing 2.7 seconds zero to 60. Channel. yeah so yeah. it's a beautiful car you want to show the interior yes. real quick it just it looks the part there yeah, you go the so you package can, that you can was see. the color before yeah the color we didn't wrap the door the nice jams. thing about the wrap is it protects the paint underneath so we will be actually do you want to tell them that oh yeah so since corvette uh, or chevrolet announced the new 2023 mid-engine z06 one up from the Stingray. Um, I'm actually on the list to get it. So I'll be trading this in next year, hopefully, fingers crossed, early allocation, mm -hmm. getting rid of this one and getting the new Z06. Which I'm yeah, so which is going to be about. insane. Yeah. yeah. So this is the 3LT package that she mentioned. So full leather on all surfaces, red heated, cooled seats. Accents. Yeah, we got red and black accents, also some carbon fiber parts. It's just incredible. We even got the see through uh, roof. This roof does remove. You can put it in the back as well. It's just a it's a phenomenal car. It really is. And for the price, you can't beat it. Like the performance, the daily drivability, you can hop in there. Yeah, the exhaust is not um, factory. It's oh, that's right. So the exhaust is Fab Speed. They're actually a sponsor of the channel. They're going to be doing some stuff for my R8, which I'll talk about when we get there. This car, sound, it might be the loudest car we have, we right? Yes, based on the startup, it is extremely loud. Yeah, go ahead, give them a startup. I want to show them the dash and oh, stuff okay. in here. That's a monster. Yeah. That's an well, look monster. how nice this is. Touch screen, dual displays. It looks and sounds insane. <laughs> We've yeah. Never done that. No, that we have really good. It does. <laughs> awesome. All right. So next, we're gonna take a little walk here, all the way to the other side, to the GLE. AMG Mercedes GLE. So yeah. So this is actually another kind of standing car. Um, we wanted to get the Mercedes AMG GLE 63, which actually has a twin turbo V8. Actually, the same one that's in that one. We'll get to that in a minute. Um, but they they actually canceled our allocation because they're not making V8s for next year, Mercedes that is, um, because of uh, supply chain issues. Mainly it's emissions. They couldn't make enough smaller engines to offset their bigger engines. So we had to scramble and it took us about a month or maybe two months to find even just a 53 GLE um, because uh, everybody wants to buy them now. Yeah, we got this one from Oregon. Shout out to the guys in Wilsonville. Um, this has a inline six turbo single turbo engine making 430 horsepower it does have an electronic assist as well and it's faster than you might think i actually yeah i smoked christina off the line the other day <laughs> I know. But yeah she was sliding her wheels were just spinning and, I, and I, this is all wheel drive yeah it was pretty funny so um this is an awesome car we we got we wanted the reason it was so hard to find is we wanted black on black we got the amg forged uh wheels and then the black interior as well this dashboard and interior is probably the nicest interior i've ever seen or been in wouldn't you agree with that yes absolutely. like it's it's just gorgeous so it's got full leather, it's got carbon fiber accents, it does have the super sport display, you can see right there. Look how sick that is. And then if you put it, in, put it in sport mode, or sport plus rather, check it out. Look how cool that looks when it changes through modes. Oh, opens that opens up, up the, the exhaust. Valve. It does have the AMG performance exhaust. Let's hear what it sounds like. <laughs> it sounds so sad after the Corvette. <laughs> doesn't it? I'm very disappointed. Yeah, it needs I'm down pipes and a tune. But since we're going to be getting the 63 in probably eight months or so, next year, yeah. we don't know how much we will really want to do to this car. Um, so this is just kind of our daily. Um, it's a great daily. It's a great it's daily. Really Massaging good. seats, go heated, cooled. We yeah, we have big ass snow there. tires for this bad boy. Um, but yeah, I don't know how much we're going to do to this. We'll see. Um, but it is, it's a beautiful car and, and we really do love it as a daily. We, we can't complain. All right, so the next most expensive vehicle, I just saw your undies. Oh. <laughs> don't demonetize us, Surprise. YouTube. Surprise, um, is um, my 2018 Audi R8 V10 Plus. So um, 
this is another one of those vehicles that actually has gone up in value oh actually i didn't mention it i told you that we bought this corvette for a hundred thousand we had offers for one hundred thirty thousand dollars for this car so that's another car that has a vehicle i should say that has gone up in value um and the r8 has two i bought this car uh, it's a 2018, but I bought it one year old. It was used. It had like 4,000 miles. It's basically brand new. Uh, and I got it for 150,000. And now these are trading for anywhere between 180 all the way up to like 210,000. So um, it's another vehicle that has gone up in value, which is super cool. And it's also an absolute blast. I daily drive this thing. Well, now I have other, we have other cars, but I did daily drive this thing Every for, day. yeah, for like a year. I think I put about 8,000 miles on it or so. And I absolutely love it. So the cool thing about this car is it actually shares a naturally aspirated V10 with Lamborghini. And it is such a blast to drive. Look at that thing. There's only two cars left in the world that have a naturally aspirated V10. This car right here and a Lamborghini Huracan. So this is all wheel drive. It has carbon fiber everywhere on the outside it has carbon ceramic brakes this is a custom wrap from hector at sp tint designs that i designed um it has oh i powder coated the wheels black we had the calipers custom painted to match the wrap um tinted all the windows all around and then actually fab speed is going to be doing a full package for me they're doing a custom exhaust for me um race filters and a custom tune that's going to add about 100 horsepower to this car it already makes 610 after their treatment it should be over 700 which is going to be insane let's hear how it sounds i think this is one of the best sounding cars that we have and if she puts it in race mode which is right there we can hear how she sounds <laughs> oh my god doesn't that, hey, that beautiful. <laughs> in the cold dude in the cold so good. yeah so i've driven a lot of cars a lot of supercars including lamborghinis and um they're all awesome obviously but this has just i don't know there's something to it you know it pops and those cracks uh-huh Oh, and just like, like the view angles you can see in it it's a great daily cool. yeah it's, it's such really an awesome cool. car so um yeah I, this does have performance upgrades coming but um as it sits right now it's a very fast car i've had violent launches in this thing 2.5 2.6 oh, 0 to 60 um, times zero to 60 launch control are they're violent they're yeah scary. it's such a good car i absolutely love this car so yeah that's my 2018 audi r8 v10 plus the only thing i would replace this with because i love the v10 and the all-wheel drive so much would be a lamborghini huracan preferably a performante but those are really really expensive so we'll we'll have to see what happens all right so moving along to the last car the most expensive and the most recent one we've added to the fleet is a 2020 mercedes amg gtr pro and this car is absolutely incredible we'll get to our favorites at the end of the video but um what makes this car special is they only made 750 of these for the entire world less than 150 came to the u.s and we were really lucky to find one of these at auto dynamics in texas and we as soon as i found it it was a great price um it was what was it 215,000 ish 220 yeah. i think uh, no it's closer to 220. yeah so 220,000. so it is the most by quite a bit but um it's a twin turbo v8 making just right around 600 horsepower to the rear wheels it has all-wheel steering it has insane downforce it has one of the fastest nurburgring lap times of any production car rear wheel drive production car in history is also in the top 10 as well it's just an absolute freaking beast of a car and i i just love the looks of it it's like a james bond car and this is actually the factory paint scheme so all it has is a ppf on it and that's how it comes from the factory and some green accents. yeah and some green accents some green added. yeah that they added but those green stripes and everything it comes that way all the carbon fiber and uh it's an absolute beast the thing that makes this yeah so special is you sit really far back and you literally sit like on the back wheel which is super cool the engine is actually in the front of the car but it's about right here so it is a mid-engine car even though it's in the front of you instead of behind you like most mid-engines and then the other awesome thing about this car is you get all the luxury of a mercedes on the inside but it's still super sporty as well you get some dry carbon some alcantara on the um the steering wheel and other areas and it's just absolutely beautiful so teams when you turn this on hold the left paddle it'll do the motion start and then put it in sport plus okay. and you, or race actually you see. Race? when you rev it yeah okay. let's hear it 
this car will sound insane once we do downpipes on it. Right now, you can hear it. Oh! Damn! <laughs> this car actually sounds better inside the car when you're driving than I think it does outside the car. Absolutely. But I think once we do da downpipes and a tune, this thing is gonna really open up and it's gonna be freaking insane. With just downpipes and a tune, you can get this thing over 700 horsepower. If we do bigger turbos, we can get into the 800, 900 range, which is gonna be insane. <laughs> So that is the full current collection, um, our $800,000 supercar and motorcycle collection. Um, like I said, we will be trading in the C8 Corvette for the Z06 next year. We will be trading in the 53 GLE for the 63 next year. And then I'm, I'm sure I'm gonna be buying more cars, or sorry, more bikes here and there. And maybe my R8 might get traded in next year for a Huracan uh, Performante, depending on how things go. Yeah. But um, let us know which one is your favorite in the comment section below. If we were gonna hand you the keys to any one of these vehicles, which one would you take and why? Christina, which one's your favorite? Okay, so I've got two, of course. Um, for a daily, the Corvette, mm -hmm. it's just so comfortable. Every time we drive the other cars and then we go back <laughs> into that, Jared's always like, wow, it's so comfortable. Like the suspension isn't tight. It's, it's just incredible just to drive yeah. around. And it has a kick to it if mm -hmm. you need to just- It is surprisingly fast. From other cars. Yeah. But for every day- Fun factor. Want, the fun factor, the speed, the power, the looks, everything, then I'm gonna have to go with my new baby, the AMG GTR Pro. I mean, I do love your car, but they're all just so different. You can't go wrong with anything. That's why we- drive Yeah, that's why we buy the cars and the bikes that we do. You know, we like to have variety mm -hmm. and we appreciate all the different things, whether it's, you know, super bikes to super cars to naked bikes. That's more of a cruiser, obviously SUV. That's going to be great for the winter. Yeah. You can't really drive uh -huh. in the winter, so that's going to be awesome. And if I had to choose a bike, I'd have to go with the Monster yeah. out of all three. Yeah. So for cars, I, I think, man, it's really hard for me to choose between the R8 and the GTR. The R8's better daily because it's so small and it's zippy to get around and the, the V10 sounds so good. Yeah, but that one, there's just something about, that feels like a full-on race car when you're in it, yeah. And the rear wheels are Uh-huh. It's just a really unique, ex yeah, experience. So, I, it's a toss-up for me between those two. If I, if I had to choose just one, I'd probably take the GTR, probably. But I don't know, it depends on the day. You like driving that, but I feel like deep down in your heart, you still, this is I still love that, yeah. And it's my first car, supercar I ever bought. the bike? Bikes wise, ooh. Uh, for looks, I would say the SP, but for everyday rideability, Diavel, which is why that's my only actual personal bike that I own. Yeah, so there you go. I hope that gives you guys a little bit of insight into um, our collection of cars and motorcycles. What? We got rid of one car. Don't tell me which one. Mm -hmm. Comment below for the one car that we got rid of that's no longer here. That is true. Yeah. We got rid of it this week. Uh huh. And we've had that one for. Does anyone know what it is? Years. If you know which car it is, drop it. I'll be impressed. Yeah. Yeah. I'll be impressed because. <laughs> It while. wasn't on the channel very much, but um, but yeah. So that that I hope that gives you some insight into why we have all the things that we have. If we didn't, if we weren't social media people full time, we wouldn't. We probably wouldn't have any of these vehicles, no. honestly. Um, if it you, wasn't for yeah. our business, if they weren't write-offs and things like that. So I hope that makes a little bit more sense, and I hope that people don't think we make these kinds of videos to like show off or anything like that. Um, we're just sharing our love of cars and motorcycles with you guys. That's that's why we do it. And um, like I said, it's for our business, so it helps everything that we do. So yeah, I think that's it. Uh, let us know if you guys enjoyed the video in the comment section below. Give it a th big thumbs up if you enjoyed content big like this. Big juicy thumbs up. Big juicy thumbs up. <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.